<laughs> oh, boys, girls, gather around. Oh, my God, this is hilarious. So, basically, a company called Flatteron, which sounds like what? Well, Flatteron sounds like an ironing company. So, if you've not seen Flatteron, a company, who knows, installed a portal that connects New York to Dublin. What a fantastic idea. Let's connect the Big Apple to the Big Irish. I'm sure they would get on, like, absolutely bread on butter. Like, they would get on like they are a camel in the desert. You know what I mean? That shit was made for each other. Right? Nah, bro. So let's just, look, everyone's waving, smiling. Oh, this is so nice. Gang signs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rip little pump. Little pump, little pump, little pump. Everyone's sat there, you know, it's dark on one screen, it's light in the other. That probably sums up the people uh, more than anything. <laughs> But look around, everyone's smiling. Oh my God, can you believe it? You're seeing an Irish person. You know how far you'd have to go to see an Irish person leave their cave? Well, now you can do it from the comfort of your home. Well, the comfort of this portal. Now, that was obviously quite PG and boring. And as you could probably see, this led to absolute chaos. Absolute chaos. So mischief makers, as they call it. I call it normal people. You know, everyone would do this sort of shit. So basically, <laughs> they're bare bums, swastikas, and the Twin Towers in flames. <laughs> so the actual uh, webcam thing has been shut down. It's been paused because they trusted people and they have been nothing but disappointed. They were like, oh, they're, they're going to love this. They're going to love this. Nah, bro. They're going to love it, but not for the right reasons. You shouldn't laugh, but that's fucking hilarious, bro. That is so good. Their reaction is just like, <laughs> Can you believe someone's just done that? Yeah, I bloody can. <laughs> <laughs> someone sounds like they've just been shot. Like, ah, ah, oh my God, help me, help. 9-11, bad, I ah, don't. You know, fair enough, some of them might actually have PTSD, so it's probably not a very funny thing to joke about, but just that scream is sensational. Now, I'm going to show you this, but I have to be... Uh, as careful as a man talking to a woman. I have to absolutely make sure I do not say anything outlandishly terrible because it will get me in trouble. But I also need to make sure I don't show anything that is deemed inappropriate due uh, by YouTube T's and C's. So this lady here felt like getting a breast tape for the lads. <laughs> you see that guy trying to take a picture as well? Look at that. Look at this guy there. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm getting a pick of this shit. Free pornography? Fuck yeah, dude. I'll, I'll take that any day of the week. So this woman then goes on here. She's apparently an OnlyFans lady who goes and gets her breasts out. It's funny because everyone stays. Everyone's there like, yeah, dude, keep it coming, bro. Keep it coming. I mean, I respect the graft, I respect the grind, but you have to be pretty tragic to have done that, I have to admit. You know what I mean? Like, putting 9-11, I can see why that's funny. But getting your tits out for the lads, well, that's just not funny at all. Like, at least show the people behind you. You know what I mean? Give us a view. Shut up, Harrison. Can't even show your bouncy big naturals to the bub Dubliners inside the New York City portal anymore because of woke. Now, if you know, you know. If you know... You know, the portal, the man at the petrol station cleaning his butt or something and, you know, oh, God, horrible. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. So, in conclusion, don't do this. Do not trust human beings. We are a terrible, terrible, terrible bunch of lads. And, uh, yeah, we don't deserve nice things, clearly. I mean, this is a cute idea and all, but, like, you know what I mean? Like, FaceTime does exist. If you wanted to speak to anyone in Ireland, like, A, why would you? But, B, if you did, you know, I'm sure you've got them on FaceTime. Like, you know what I mean? You don't need to jump on this uh, this bandwagon here and start throwing 9-11s around and get your tits out for the lad. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have to do that. No way, mate. And you'd have to create some portal, uh, you know, making me believe it's some doctor strange level magic like i'm playing skyrim and i've just reached 100 destruction spells and conjuration and shit and shit's blowing up and everywhere's flying and people are looking at me like i'm crazy but really i've just sweated it so much that i'm an absolute god i'm a god boy you know what i mean and i'm sure i can't believe people actually thought you know it would be a fantastic idea why don't we put a why don't we put a portal you know like a a facetime portal in new york city and have people communicate 
through the portal. Top of the morning, lads. Huh? That's a fantastic idea it is. <laughs> My Irish accent's fantastic. Yeah, no, seriously, I'm from Dublin. I'm from Dublin, Ireland. Ireland. Top of the morning to you, laddies. My name is Jack Spadaisky. No, but seriously, who thought that was a good idea? They deserve sacking. You know what I mean? So many people were going to get the balls out. I'm surprised no one thought of a 9-11 joke sooner. You know what I mean? New York City. Queens. The home of 9-11, if you didn't know. And they, imagine being one person there, like, you get it up, and then you go, oh, shit, motherfucker. That's 9-11. <laughs> anyway, I just thought this was quite funny. Do you think it's funny? Let me know down below. Thanks, I guess. Good night. Goodbye. Good luck. Good luck, have fun, bitches. Anyway, yeah, lesson learned. Don't trust human beings with anything, especially trying to communicate. <laughs>